What's up guys? Welcome back to Land Vision Studios. Today we're going to be taking another look at Unreal Engine 5.1. In our last tutorial, I showed you guys how to use the interface and how to use this program and basically all the basics that you will need to start getting working on your project. Today we're going to be talking about landscapes. Have you ever wondered how gamers make their maps so big so fast? Well, I'll show you guys exactly how to do that using landscapes. But today, which is going to be a basic tutorial for landscaping, and I'm going to show you how to use the tool. And later on, I'll have a tutorial on how to make an amazing looking landscape inside of Unreal Engine 5.1. So let's get started. So once you're back into your third person map, we're going to go ahead and go back into your third person template and go into the third person map. All right, the first thing I want you guys to do is go to your outliner and you will definitely see all of your items that are in your project and you're just going to click one, shift click the very bottom and delete. If you see anything else, delete it as well. Keep your world data layers and world partition layers. You just keep continuing to delete until everything is gone. Your outliner should look like this. So what we need to do is add some lighting to the scene so we can see our landscape. So what I want you to do is go up to window, go down to EV light mixer and open it. As you see, it is completely blank, but we have all these options to create lights. Let's go and create a skylight atmospheric sphere, sky atmosphere, volumetric cloud, and height fog. So as you see, your scene has some lights and some clouds, basically the sunlight. So now we're going to create a landscape. Go to your selection mode drop down box and go to landscape. From here you can make a landscape any size you want with any materials you want as well as paint and sculpt your landscape. You want to make sure that you have enable edit layers enabled. For your material we're not going to worry about this for right now. I will tell you how to do that later. Next you'll see location, rotation, and scale. So this basically determines the location of your landscape, the rotation of your landscape, and the scale of your landscape. If you would like to adjust the section size such as these cube grids, then you could change it to different quad sizes as into 255, 127, etc. We're going to go back to 63 by 63. Sections per component. So do you want it to be a 1x1 one one section or a 2x2 two two section? Basically doubling it. We don't normally worry about the number of components. We're actually going to worry more about the overall resolution. If you would like your landscape to be bigger and have higher quality, you could make this size bigger. We could do 1000 by 1000 As you see, it automatically makes a square resolution. So any values you put in here, it will create the designated overall resolution. Alright, you can also, if you don't want it to be this size and you want it to actually fill the entire world, you could just click fill world. So what I want to do now is go ahead and make this landscape. Unclick fill world. We're just going to make a basic landscape. Then create Okay, now that we're in landscape mode, you can see all these different tools that you can use to create your landscape. Alright, let's just go to the sculpt tool. As you can see, if I hit the mouse button, it creates shapes in the landscape. We can drag it up, we could just make it like hills. If we wanted some mountains, we could just make a mountains over here. As you can see, it's pretty easy to make a landscape in Unreal Engine. Now this is the basics. There's several things we could do with this. If we wanted to smooth out the edges, we can do that. Just hit the Smooth tool. As you can see, it's smoothing out the edges. 
So now I don't have as strong of mountains, it's more of just hills. What if I wanted mountains that have a steeper hill? You would just go down here to brush fall off. That's basically the angle it's going to be at whenever it goes up in direction. So it's going to have a 32 degree slope. So if I pull it up, this slope here on the edge is going to be 32 degrees. Anything I believe over 40 or 45 degrees, your character won't be able to walk up it. Of course, you might be able to make it do it with coding. <laughs> Sorry. But if I set it to something like a 80 degree angle or 82 degree angle, you'll see that when I pull it up, it's going to be a much steeper slope. You see that? Let's turn up the tool strength so it comes a little bit faster. So now you see these hills have much more of a slope. We're just going to add some more of these to the outside. What if you don't want the tops of these mountains to be rounded? What if you wanted them to be flat? Well, that's why you use the flatten tool. You select the flatten tool and go towards the very top and just click it. It will get flatter on top. It will also pull any landscape around it to the very same height level. Pretty cool. So now we have this path that's kind of up in the air. And if you want, you can adjust the brush tool size and make smaller paths. Now you see how these edges are kind of off? That means that my brush size is probably a little bit too small. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make this bigger. And now, as you can see, these canyon, it kind of creates like a canyon path. You could make a path here. So whatever area you select, it will adjust the height to that point. If I was to grab this part, it would even it out with the ground. So you could just make all sorts of funky shapes and things with this if you wanted to. And again, if you don't like these jagged edges, just go up to the Smooth tool, set your tool strength to something like 0.1, and just smooth out the edges. Now you might want to turn your tool strength down and your brush size down to make sure that you're only getting the edges there. So let's go back and see they're jagged. So let's make our brush size smaller, something like 500. The brush fall off, let's make it something like 8.8. And just hit the edges. and just smooth them out. You don't want to have them completely smooth, you want to have a little bit of detail so it looks like it's been broken in. Now yours is not going to look exactly like mine, but this is just how you're using the tools. You can create the landscape to look however you want. So now that I have this canyon, I want to make a ramp that I can get up to it. Let's go to the ramp tool. Now, this part over here is probably going to look different on yours, but on mine, it looks kind of ugh, gross. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a ramp to it. Let's select the very top of the ramp and then go all the way to the very bottom of the point that you want the ramp to go to. Let's adjust the ramp width 
to fit the part that I want it to fit. Then I'm going to click that and drag it over to exactly the point that I want it to be on top. Then just hit add ramp. You can also adjust the side fall off if you wanted to. So now we have a ramp that goes up to it. Again, this ramp is a little bit off. So what I want to do is pull it up just a bit, pull this up, and add another ramp, and smooth this out. Now if you wanted to, you could add some erosion along the edges of the mountains. So what I like to do is just do it around the edges of these high points of this canyon that I'm making. just add some erosion to make those mountains kind of stand out maybe some on the ground so it's not so smooth looking what I like to make sure that I do is I kind of like to keep the top smooth and just kind of do the edges like I said because it will give it this kind of mountain illusion uh, and still have kind of like a peak top. See how that kind of does that there. And it goes pretty fast. I'm actually going to flatten this back out. And I'm actually going to make this a lot bigger. And the tool strength more. And I'm going to make uh, just a starter player position right here. That I can just kind of walk around and make it to a point. And I'm going to flatten this out. Make it a little bigger. Maybe for like a fighting area. You see how you can just kind of quickly make these areas, you know, like you start here, you walk up a little bit, you have uh, some enemies right here, you fight them, then you kind of go on another path, and then you could, you know, make, make another one over here. And uh, as you're walking down, you can make another path, you know, that goes this way. Uh, And then if you wanted to, we could make this actually come off this one, uh, flatten it out about right here, and then do it about halfway up. And that way you have more layers on top of that sort of canyon there. And you could also kind of walk down into that right there. You see what I'm saying? You want to kind of try to build off of these. these different hills but I will show that a lot more in depth in another tutorial okay so if you want to add some noise to the ground or something you can use the noise tool uh, if you want to add it to mountains however you want to use the noise tool is up to you it's kind of similar to the erosion tool All right, the rest of the tools I will be going over in the advanced landscape tutorial. So be sure to stay tuned to check that out. In that, I will also explain to you how to add different materials to your landscape, as well as paint your landscape. All right, before we end today's tutorial, we're just going to add a player start. So let's just go up to the selection mode, click on this icon here, go down to all classes, and scroll down until you see player start. Once you have your player start wherever you want it to be, you can just move it where you want. Make sure that your capsule is above the ground. Turn it in whatever direction you want your player to face when it's on the level. So we're going to hit the rotation tool. All right, press play. So now you see we have this kind of mountain style environment. It's not a whole lot, but it's a way to get started. Let's just go along the path and see how it looks. See if you look down you can already see kind of like a Fortnite style canyon. 
not too shabby. We could make this look a lot better though if you'd like to take this landscape a step further and learn how to use blueprints and materialize it. Stay tuned for my next landscaping tutorial. I will see you guys on the next Unreal Engine 5.1 tutorial. See you guys next time.